ICT NCERT presents audiobook Mathematics for Economics. Page 45. Module 8 Absolute and Relative Change. 8.1 Absolute Change and Relative Change. When you subtract the initial value of some variable x from its final value, then you get what is known as an absolute change in x. It is denoted by delta x. Now that this is absolute change and not absolute value and therefore can be negative as well. An absolute change in the value of a variable cannot be used as a measure of degree of change in the variable. For example, increase in price of gold by 10 rupees per unit is not as much a matter of concern as the increase in price of rice by 10 rupees per unit. To be able to compare degree of change across entities or across time for the same entity, we calculate what is called relative or proportional change. It is defined as the absolute change in the variable of interest divided by the initial value of that variable. Let us say that the variable x changed from x1 to x2. Then, absolute change is delta x is equal to x2 minus x1, whereas the relative change is delta x by x1, which is equal to x2 minus x1 by x1. If we multiply relative or proportional change by 100, then we get the percentage change in x which is equal to delta x by x1 multiplied by 100%. Now, since the price per unit of gold is very high to begin with, a change of rupees 10 would imply a very low proportional change in its price, whereas the same absolute change in price per unit of rice would imply a very high proportional change in price. Since, Price per unit of rice is not very large to begin with. Module 8 ends here. Happy listening. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh. Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana. Sound Recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan. Artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India <laughs>